Hi, everyone, and welcome to Talk Tuesday. Hey, everyone, I just wanted to touch base on the Cardi B versus Tasha K lawsuit that ended the other day with Cardi B winning all three counts against Tasha K. So for those who may not know, Tasha K is a YouTube vlogger with millions of connections, subscribers, followers, however you want to term it. But she had put out a video that really had some deflammatory accusations or, hmm, she just kind of implied some things about Cardi B. And maybe she was under the impression, don't know, don't know her, that that would lead to, you know, Cardi kind of responding, but in a way, not via a lawsuit. But shocker, Cardi sued. Generally, you don't find many of the celebrities are suing in this instance. Some of them will just let it go. Or in many instances, you'll see where a lawsuit will be dropped and then there's this exclusive interview given to the one that they were initially suing. That also didn't happen in this instance. So kudos to Cardi because she was like, no, no, and no, not me, not me, not me. Say what you want, do what you will, but understand there are consequences for those words, actions, whatever. So I've seen some commentary about, oh, you know, using the disclaimer, the copyright disclaimer. Well, if everyone reads that, it's for fair use, for purposes such as criticism. Doesn't say to lie, doesn't say to fame, doesn't say to slander. It says, such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Hmm. Where in there does it say that this disclaimer allows me to just say whatever, truth, untrue? Now, if you're giving commentary, that's one thing. But to actually lie, put a spin on it, hmm. I think this win has just changed the game. It set a precedent that said that dear bloggers, dear vloggers, watch your step. You might want to put out there for some big views and um, lots of clicks or whatever you're looking for, but there will be consequences. So my understanding is that the Tasha K video which I've not seen, don't care to see, is still up on her channel and has over 5 million views. Hence why a Cardi B was like, no, 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 no. That's a lot of views. That's a lot of people looking at a video that contained a lot of information that has been proven in court was a lie. It's sad, but even with a huge platform. Tasha K just, I guess, didn't realize that there is a line that you just don't cross. Sadly, it's, you know, costing her quite a bit of money in legal fees as well as the settlement. But hopefully, big or small, young or old, vloggers and bloggers will understand don't go after people with the intention of, ah, I have my disclaimer up. Ah, I can say and do whatever I want. Mm, there's freedom of speech, but there's also consequences for that speech. So take heed, take the warning, tread lightly, be authentic, and really seriously, don't do things to try to... Um, force people into doing what you want, i.e. doing an exclusive interview in order to up your brand. Because you, in those intentions, have probably damaged your brand more so. Anyway, that's all I really wanted to say. The disclaimer is clearly written that if you want to use someone's content that is copyright, 
there are limits to what you can use it for, but nowhere in that disclaimer, again, does it say that I can lie, slander, liable anybody. That's my talk Tuesday for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to, if this is your first time to my channel to subscribe, please share. And if you've been here a while, please consider supporting the channel through channel membership. I appreciate each and every one of you. And until I see you again, be well, wear a mask. Bye.